Brianna Showers. I'm from Rockford, Michigan. I started gymnastics when I was two years old. My parents didn't really realize, I guess, when I was super good at gymnastics. It was more just like a love that I had for it. I joined the Oklahoma women's gymnastics team in 2016. I got here that summer after I graduated high school and trained all through summer. I knew we had a stud on our hands. She had been injured before coming in, but I knew she was a beautiful athlete. I knew she had the passion for the sport. I knew she was a leader, and I knew she wanted to be here more than anything. And so we, we were so excited when she walked in the door, and she has not disappointed for a second. My first year as an Oklahoma gymnast was kind of crazy, and I was just getting back into gymnastics, so I was a little bit behind schedule compared to the other people on the team. Um, but came in super, super excited because the team had just come off a national championship win. I just felt so honored to be here and be at Oklahoma, the best school in the nation. In late November, before Thanksgiving break, um, I started having a little bit of wrist pain. All the medical staff here was working on it and they were like, we don't really know what it is. And what it was was a bone eating tumor and so it was just beating, eating away at my bone and my arm and it needed to be removed. Um, the recovery time was only about a month, and so I still had my eyes set on season. It wasn't totally um, out of the books for me. Four weeks later, I started training again, um, and on a simple tumbling pass on my first day back, I broke my arm, and so had to get surgery again, and at that point, it was you're done for the season, like there's no way you're gonna be able to come back in time. So that was super upsetting, but then again, I knew that I had to kind of flip the switch and um, make the best of my new situation. Being on the sidelines my freshman year, I kind of saw what the hard work looked like and what everybody had to put in to win that national championship. And, what was necessary for us to come out on top at the end of the season. Sophomore year, um, a lot of things change as far as my perspective and I think my work ethic in the gym. I think what really switched for me was using the information that I had seen and observed and applying it to myself and um, making sure that I was the hardest working person in the gym because I wanted to be out there so badly. We lost the national championship it was super tough because we did deserve it we all work so hard on the off season during season people don't see all the hard work that goes into um, what we put out on the floor every weekend and um, for me I was very disappointed and I took it I think more personally than anything because my freshman year when I didn't compete we did win Coming into uh, junior year, I knew that I was healthy and I had the ability to get myself ahead. And I was just like trying to put myself in the best position possible and just like let the coaches know and everyone know like I got this, I can do this, it's gonna be a great year for me. As we started our season, we were unstoppable from the first meet and then before our third or fourth meet in practice. I was doing a dismount, something I do all the time off the bars, and just landed a little weird on my landing. I had torn my ACL in high school, so I kind of knew what it felt like. And when I landed, I like knew immediately that I had done the same thing. I just immediately lost it and started crying because I knew all the work that goes into coming back and the rehab involved. and just the fact that I would be taken out for the season and that was the last thing, the last thing I wanted just because I know what it's like um, to not be able to compete and not be out there with your teammates and compete for OU. So I was just, I was crushed. Here comes the trophy. Oklahoma will win their fourth NCAA championship with his second highest score in the history of the championship final.
I was out for a long time with ACL surgery. It's uh, the minimum six months. So now that I'm training again, I'm getting back into doing gymnastics. It has been a hard process coming back, but if I do reflect on it, I do truly see that I'm getting there. Uh, my personal goals for senior year, um, I just want to be able to be a great senior. I also want to be able to um, contribute. I want to be able to put on that Leo another time and I want to be able to compete um, because that feeling is just electric and there's nothing like it and I want to be able to feel that again. There are those athletes that want it so badly and haven't been able to reach their potential because there's been roadblocks along the way. Bree is one of those athletes. She is. She has potential like no other and she wants to reach it so badly. And as a coach, you know, sometimes you feel like your hands are tied, that there's nothing that you can do. And, and these events that happen and occur are, are unusual, unwelcome, you know, and, and you can only hope that these are the things that will make them stronger. And these are the things that they will rise up and, and come back from. And nobody, honestly, nobody wants this more for Brie than her team does and then we do. We want her to rise from the ashes and come back from this and to end her career on the highest note possible. I haven't had the college experience, gymnastics experience that I always thought that I would have. Um, it's gone in so many different directions and I've had injury after injury and just so many things um, happen and I have relied on the verse is Proverbs 356 and have that written everywhere. I just trust in that and trust that um, all these things are happening for a reason. They're making me stronger as a person, not just in gymnastics, but in life and will carry me far in the future.